Hello and welcome back to the Startup Leisure. This is part four of the Swift Command Control Panel. In this section we'll be looking at uh, controlling the heating from this control panel, which normally you obviously would manually uh, control from your either your Aldi, which this model has, or Truma. And it will also control Whale, obviously those, all those connected to the Swift uh, models. So just change anything on the heating as again you control it manually. So if you set it to control manual, you will, will be controlling it off your control panel, whichever system you've got. You can change it too. I press the arrow, it's a timer. So what you can do is set the timer on this actual control panel instead of your uh, main control panel, which is on your heating system. So you can check, start it, change it, put it to electric on or off, or kilowatt, how many? Or to gas, off, on, or off. Then you can set your first timer. So there's up to four timers. If you want to set the timers, again, press the arrow, which is pointing towards the screen. Arrow down, so you can turn the heat in to uh, whatever temperature you want again. Your water, you've got options of normal or boost, or off. Then timer two, so that can be set on a bit later on. So you could have the timer on, say first thing in the morning, seven till then, Shutting off around about 10 o'clock, you maybe got off and out on adventures. Then you can put a set of timer three and four, so what for when you're likely to be back. So you can as again set the timer, say for half four, if you had enough of uh, walking around all day. So it's nice and warm when you come back. Again, switch to for the heating and the water. Same with the last timer. Before you go to bed, you may want to just switch it off via the timer. And all you do is just press exit settings. So once you've done that, that'll be your timer set. See the top right hand corner of the uh, next to the uh, time, there's a little timer there now. That's to say your timer's set, so obviously it'll be operating off that timer off your control panel, as in your Swift Command control panel, instead of your heating control panel. I'll just go back into heating settings. So the other option, if I press the arrow towards, is control app. Obviously, it's very important if you're going to start using the app on your phone or your iPhone, it needs to be set to that to allow you to operate it from your app on your phone. Then exit settings, that's now set on app, ready to use. 